Hello and welcome. This is Mark from Never Ending Service. I haven't posted anything in a couple weeks. Uh, just been busy. Uh, we got hit with that crazy snowstorm the other day. But I'm testing some new stuff here and we're going to see how it works out. I'm going to be uh, reading a few scriptures and looking at a commentary from Bible League, Living His Word. Uh, the first scripture I want to read to you today is Psalm 2, verses 1 through 3. Why do the nations rage, and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and His anointed, saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. Everything, including every person and every nation, exists under the kingdom rule and reign of God and His Anointed One, Jesus Christ. We know that the His Anointed in our verses today, which I will read for you in a moment, uh, Acts chapter 4 verses 25 through 27 are referring to Jesus. Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed, who now sits at the Lord's right hand and reigns over all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also the age to come. You can find that in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21. From this position of power and authority, he will fight against the enemies of his kingdom until all of them have been humbled at his feet. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 25. If you look at the world today, uh, it's not hard to imagine that this indeed could be the time to come that these scriptures are referring to. Uh, the world is a mess. Uh, the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, is a house divided right now and has been since 2016. Uh, all manner of things, uh, people conspiring and plotting in vain. And why do I say it's in vain? Because given the position and the place of God and his anointed, Jesus, it makes no sense to plot against them or to fight to overthrow their rule and reign. It makes no sense because they cannot be overthrown. There is no rule or reign that can take their place. You can rebel against them but you cannot burst the bonds and cast away their cords. If you don't like their kingdom and their rule, there is no other kingdom that you can flee to. Although you can join Satan in his rebellion, and you may certainly join his kingdom, but his kingdom is nothing more than a puppet regime that exists under the kingdom rule and the reign of God and his anointed in the very universe that he created. Ironically, like a parasite, Satan is trying to overthrow the very kingdom that his kingdom depends on for its very existence. Many people over the centuries have tried to do just that and it continues to this very day. It is a losing proposition, therefore, to, take, to join Satan in his revolt, because it can never succeed in any kind of final or ultimate sense. In fact, it is doomed to destruction. If you look up Revelation verse 20, or chapter 20, verses 7 through 10, it makes it quite clear. And this is why 
the first uh, scriptures I read to you, Psalm 2, verses 1 through 3. This is why God wonders why the nations rage and the people plot in vain. He wonders why they reject his glorious and beneficent rule and the rewards that come from it. And instead, they fight and struggle to establish their own rule and reign. Indeed, God finds the rage and the plots of the rebellious Satan, rebellious angels, rebellious people, laughable, and he holds them in derision. It is a foolish thing to rebel against the kingdom rule and the reign of the Lord and his anointed. How can any of us, the created, hope to challenge the creator? And I'm just going to pop a little picture up here. I hope you can see that. It's a picture of Washington, D.C., the Capitol building. Uh, the fights and the struggles we see between countries, between people in our own country, uh, comes from one simple thing, rebelling against God. People want to do what they want to do. Some people want to fly the freak flag. Some people like power and want to enslave others and use them for our ends. There is a group of people in our own government today and people outside that have conspired together to take this country down, to destroy it because they want to rule it. For decades, we have been had. We have had the wool pulled over our eyes. We've been lied to. Uh, a lot of this is becoming more and more evident. Uh, the mainstream media can't hide it anymore. Uh, you know, one, one quality of God is truth. And the truth will set you free. Nothing that is secret, nothing that is done in secret will remain secret. All will be brought to light. There have been some very wicked people in positions of high authority and even the highest authority in our country for decades. And a lot of the problems we're having in our government right now is the man that is currently uh, our president has seen the corruption, knows the corruption, and him and a dedicated bunch of patriots are doing what they can to undo the damage. Uh, it's difficult. You know, the, the roots of this grow are deep. Uh, this is indeed a new age, a new time, and... The things that used to work are no longer going to work. Uh, it's going it, to. It's actually a very exciting time to be living in because uh, things can go in a positive direction, or they can go very, very negative very soon. Uh, it's going to be very interesting the next uh, six months, year. Uh, that's that's my test for now. I'm gonna close this out and see how it works.